I love film and video because of the raw emotion a single frame can bring a human being. I actually started a collection and a scavenger hunt to collect every Oscar winner for best picture. I felt that if I wanted to ever make the best, I had to watch the best. My name is Jason Baker. I am a videographer and editor at Allen Film and Video in Finley, Ohio. I graduated from Bowling Green State University in the fall of 2012 with a degree in telecommunications. I grew up in a small town called New Bremen, Ohio. I grew up being the youngest of three boys. My older brothers were seven and eight years older than me. and They were really good at sports. They were really good athletes. My brothers really tried to push me into sports. But strange enough, I always seemed to go the music route. In fifth grade, I started playing trumpet. By eighth grade, I decided I wanted to switch to French horn. Around the same time, I began getting involved in a small community musical theater. All through high school, I did choir, band, marching band, and ended up trying out to be field commander. I got the part. I feel like from there on, I knew music was a part of me. So I decided I needed to go to school to study music. And Bowling Green State University seemed to be close and they had a phenomenal music program. So I'm like, that's where I want to go. The summer before my freshman year of college, I went into panic mode and I thought I was going to be against all these musical geniuses. So I thought, what else do I like? And I kept thinking and thinking. But I've always had a really strong passion for film and TV. Growing up, me and my middle brother, we would have this little tape recorder of just, it would just do audio. And we would make our own radio shows. And then my dad, he was always a tech nerd and he always seemed to have some kind of camera around. So eventually we started to get into the cameras. When we were home alone in the summers, bored out of our minds. We started making these little narrative films. It was just simple things like that, but those always stuck with me. When I started the TCOM program, I quickly got involved with BG24 News. I did everything from being a camera operator to a switcher, did the audio board. I was still heavily focused around music, and I was in men's chorus, a cappella choir, the Falcon Marching Band, and then my sophomore year, I was even the lead singer of the Varsity Barbershop Quartet, Brass Tacks. And it wasn't until later in my junior year that I really started to realize that graduation is around the corner and I need to start focusing on my video work. I had a class with an amazing instructor, Jose Cardenas, and it was a video practicum course where a group of students would get together and make a video. And our main focus that year, I think, was documentary work. My group that I was in in this course, we decided to do a documentary about the TCOM organizations that were available on campus. We covered everything from BG24 News to WBGU TV that was right across the street. And then at the final, last week of school, we had a grand premiere of Media Falcons. So the summer finally came, but I wasn't ready to stop making things, and I loved making Media Falcons. So I kept looking for a way I, I could just keep snowballing Media Falcons into bigger projects. I started to get some support from Dr. Ha, the president of the TCOM department. She then helped me get the TCOM Student Development Fund that I was able to put towards my next project, which was Media Falcons in New York. I met with alumni from MTV, Universal Bravado International, Smash Studios. It was everything from TV production to music production. It was the best experience I ever had in my life. I began working for WBGU TV the same summer I went to New York to do the Media Falcons in New York. And I started out as an intern, and it also gave me the opportunity to meet some amazing employees that work for WBGU TV. And it was great to be around the atmosphere of people who have the same passion that I do for video. When the fall came 
And after I completed Media Falcons in New York, the staff was really starting to get behind me and wanted to continue these videos. For Media Falcons in Ohio, I got a list of alumni who are currently working in Ohio, working in around the realm of media. So we started traveling to Ohio and we found people who do video production, interactive media, media business, and just about every aspect that the TCOM program offers. In the midst of me doing Media Falcons in New York and starting at WBGU TV, I received an email from Jose Cardenas one day at, stating that there was a production company in Finley who was seeking to hire a recent BGSU graduate. Here at Allen Film and Video, we believe that every company has a story, and we take it as our responsibility to help them share their story visually and narratively. We do everything from local TV commercials to documentaries to instructional videos. Working in Finley, Ohio for a small production company is one of the better things I could have done. I get to stay local, close to family, and lots of our clients allow us to travel. It was just a few months into working there and I was going to Las Vegas, LA, Nebraska, Minnesota, Florida, and one of our clients even allowed us to go to Costa Rica to do a video about the origin of coffee beans. So I'm really getting to travel and still stay close to my friends and family. My future goals are kind of up in the air. I used to think that my only options were to go to New York or LA, but after getting a job here in Finley, Ohio, that does video production and the amount of work that we do, it's really starting to question me on the millions of other opportunities that are out there. In the past year or two, the film industry is really starting to home in on Cleveland and Columbus and Ohio in general for some major productions. And some of those opportunities could fall my way, but right now I'm pretty content here in Finley, Ohio. So we'll see how things play out in the next few years.